Boom. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to eBooks on Demand training. I am LT, the buddy teacher, your host and your instructor. We're going to go ahead and get started. The camera is rolling and we are actually going to be live streaming tonight on Facebook. So if you have friends on Facebook, you might as well go ahead and post. Let them know that we are live. This training is live. It's also being recorded. So if you do have friends that missed this training tonight, let them know they can get the replay all available on my website. All right, so it is five o'clock. We're gonna start on time. We're gonna end on time. We will not be going longer than one hour. So plan to be with me until about six o'clock if you have questions. We will do the Q&A at the very end. So please get a piece of paper, get a pen, get a pencil, get a highlighter because you're gonna take a lot of notes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna be talking about eBooks tonight, but before we get into eBooks, we're gonna talk about books in general. Building books is a skill set, and it's something that if you learn, you will never forget it. You will always have it in your tool belt. It's something that you can actually put on your resume, and you will just have that for the rest of your life. So building a book is a skill set. I want you to write that down on your paper. Happy Friday, Janine. Go ahead and mute yourself and turn off your camera. We are recording. Happy Friday, welcome to the building. Like I was saying, once you learn a new skill set, you can put that on your resume, you can put that um, on your social media, you can build a business around a new skill set. So I want you to remember that. All right, building a book is a skill set and it's also extremely valuable in the marketplace, which means that when you learn something new, it makes you very valuable to customers and to companies. So I want you to remember that too. All right, so what does it take in order to build a book? First of all, you have to be someone that does not mind putting your words on paper. That is the first step of building your book. Secondly, you need to make sure that you are okay with listening for criticism, constructive criticism, listening for feedback, and that you are responding to that feedback. You also need to be prepared to speak in public because once you become an author, people interview you, they wanna talk to you, they wanna ask you to come on to their podcast, they have questions for you because you're considered to be an expert in your field because you've actually taken the time to learn a new skill and to provide some information for people who need it. So be prepared. You also need to have typing ability. Don't have to be super, super fast, but you need to understand how to use a word processing program. That's very, very important as a skill in the 21st century. All right, if there's anything that you missed tonight, if you need to get this recording, this is gonna be available on my website, which is myfirstbook.org. Make sure that you visit the website, tell your friends to go there. I have a lot of resources, trainings, and things that would be of interest to you if you're going to be writing your first book. All right, now what you really wanna pay attention to when you first get to the website, you wanna to go to the top right-hand corner and click schedule an appointment. You definitely want to get a coaching session with me because I will help you figure out if this is the right time for you to be starting to write a book. So that's what that button is for. So make sure you click it. All right, so what are the different stages of you preparing your manuscript, right? So you have to be prepared for the editing stage, which means that you have to go ahead and write and when you're finished writing, you have to allow someone else to edit. So you don't wanna be writing forever. You wanna give yourself a deadline and say, I will be done writing on this day. I will give it to the editor on that day and I won't look at it again, right? You wanna go ahead and get ready for the formatting. If you just came in, happy Friday, Kelvin. 
go ahead and mute yourself and turn off your camera. We are recording and we are live on Facebook. Prepare for formatting. That is where your words get structured into a template and it starts to take the shape of an actual book. Then you wanna think about your cover design. What kind of images do you want your readers to see? Because people do judge a book by its cover. It's not fair, but that's life. Also, you wanna think about how you wanna do your launch party. Obviously we live in a virtual world, so you gotta get creative and figure out how to launch your book through the internet. And you have to be prepared to promote, 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 promote. You have to be your biggest promoter so that when other people see you promoting, they're gonna follow suit and they're gonna wanna promote as well. Welcome, welcome, Tiffany. Go ahead and mute yourself. Go ahead and turn off your camera. We are recording and we are live on Facebook. You have to also be prepared. Not only do you need to promote, you also have to be prepared for marketing your book. That is a whole separate beast among itself. And I talk to my clients about it. I teach on it. I have modules in my courses on marketing. And so you will be able to learn that in a structured format. Um, with me as your coach. All right, and then there's the sales. Like a lot of times we want to hurry up and we want to go straight into the sales, but sales comes after all of the promotion and the marketing. That's when the sales roll in. All right, and a lot of authors don't realize that when you launch your book and you market your book and you promote your book and you sell your book, you're going to have to go through multiple stages of relaunching and launching again because the energy starts to fizzle out after about the first six or eight months. So you have to keep adding fuel to the fire so that people constantly hear you, get to know you, start to trust you, and begin to like you. And again, it's repeat, repeat, repeat. All right, so here's our agenda for tonight. We're gonna go over objectives. I am a teacher, so I do have objectives for my meetings. There is a purpose why we are here and we are going to stay on task and stay focused. Um, I have core values. We're gonna talk about those core values. We're gonna talk about eBooks, why you need to sell eBooks, how to build your eBooks, and what kind of support I can offer you as a book coach. All right, again, if you are interested in scheduling an appointment with me, go to my website, www.myfirstbook.org. Click this schedule an appointment button and you will be able to get on my calendar. All right, so these are the objectives. I want you to learn about the rise of the ebook. I'm gonna provide some data and some statistics for you, which will keep you at the forefront of what's happening in the marketplace, right? Because we are now living in a global marketplace and there are certain products that are more successful than others. And so I want you to be knowledgeable and understand how to position yourself to where you can be at the forefront of sales in the 21st century, right? So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how to create your first ebook, I'm gonna to talk to you about the cost. How do you figure out what to charge? I'm gonna show you some free resources to get you started like tonight. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how I can support you beyond today. All right, so the first thing I want to teach you is uh, one of my core beliefs. Um, it is that we have a lot of distractions in the world. There's probably some distractions that are happening right now <laughs> with you. Um, but you have the power to delete those distractions by simply deciding that you're going to focus. And it is Friday night, and I wanna say thank you so much for being here, and thank you for tuning in to the LT channel. I know you could be anywhere. You could be watching Netflix. You could be hanging out with your friends. There's so many things you could be doing, but you have decided to carve out some time to sit down and learn from me and I appreciate that. 
So you have the power to delete distractions. Focus your mind, focus your energy, take out your pen and paper and get ready to do some notes. All right, so I have a few house rules. If you have little ones that need your time and attention, make sure that you go help them focus on an activity for the next 45 or so minutes so that you can be educated. Um, go ahead and turn off your sound so that there are minimal distractions. Please go ahead and put your name in the chat. We're gonna be doing a lot of chatting it up tonight. So put your name in the chat, where you're chiming in from, what you're hoping to learn, and then any questions that you have as we go. Turn off your camera. We are recording and we are live on Facebook. Okay, so let's talk about the core values for LT's courses and LT's classroom, right? Because this is my classroom. So I have some core values and more likely than not, if you're here, I tend to attract people that have positive energy, have goals. Um, we're pretty high achieving people. We value hard work. We also value being in a success circle and being around people that have good energy. So if you're here and those are some of your core values, give me a thumbs up in the chat. Say, yep, yep, core values. Yep, yep, that's what I got. All right, so we have, let's see, who do we have in the house? Uh, Janine from Los Angeles, welcome. And Tiffany from Detroit, Michigan, welcome. Kelvin from Moreno Valley, want to enhance my knowledge for ebooking. Yes, yes, yep, yep, yep. Awesome, thank you guys. All right, I also value your time. So notice we did start at five and we will end at six. We'll probably end a little bit earlier than six because I want you guys to be able to go out on a Friday night with your sweet honey bun. I want y'all to have some quality time. I want you to get to bed on time. So I'm not gonna hold you beyond six o'clock, promise. All right, so I also value good energy. So this to me represents being grounded, being centered, putting your attention all face forward so that we can all be on one accord, on the same page, in the same book, at the same chapter. All right, and you are gonna go ahead and continue to remind yourself to focus. One of the things that I love to do is take notes. And I love this quote from Google. It says, follow one course until successful, okay? Whatever course you've taken before, I hope that you finish them and I hope that you got the results that you wanted. If you're in the midst of another program, there's lots of masterminds, there's lots of coaching out there. If there's online courses, if you're in the middle of something, if you've gone back to school to get a, another degree, Go ahead and make sure that you focus on that and you finish that before starting something new. If you're not a part of anything yet and you join me with my course, um, be prepared to be fully engaged and put 100% effort because when you come out, you're going to be a published author and that is going to give you a lot of respect and esteem, but also a lot of responsibility. So please don't be double-minded because double-minded people don't get anything done. You wanna be laser focused and you wanna make sure that you have your goals in front of you. All right, I also, one of my core values is money. Money is a way for you to invest in yourself. It's a way for you to climb the ladder of success. And it's a way to measure how much you have achieved, right? Money is not everything. It can't buy happiness. It can't buy um, nurturing relationships, but it can definitely give you some wiggle room so that you can invest in yourself. So one of my core values is investing and you do need to invest because if you don't invest in yourself, no one else will either. All right. So who is this talking to you right now? Who is this lady? This is LT. I'm LT, the buddy teacher, also known as Latasha Jimerson. 
also known on my podcast as The Confidence Creator. I am a professional book coach. I'm an author of eight books. Two of those books are collaborations. Five of those books I created with my own two hands. I'm a university founder. I have over 18 courses, um, which all focus on self-publishing, self-awareness, self-care, self-love, self-esteem. It's all about the selfie, right? I'm a teacher, an educational consultant, a podcaster, a YouTuber, a motivational speaker, a wife, a mom, and a kind human being, right? I have all these titles, but all these titles didn't just come yesterday. This is six years in the making. This is five years of personal development. This is four years of self-publishing, three years of working on my website, and two years of intense study on YouTube, um, a lot of investing in myself with courses, a lot of purchasing coaches. I've gotten coaching on everything from marketing, sales, public speaking. I've invested a lot of hours and a lot of energy and a lot of time and a lot of money to gain those titles for my resume. So it's not just titles, it's about the experience, the knowledge and the wisdom in order to take you to the next level. So I want you to think about some of the titles that you have, throw them in the chat. What are some of the titles that you're really, really proud of? Like, you know, wife and mom and human, human being. I'm also a Christian woman. I'm excited about that because I believe in faith over fear. So give me some of your titles. Let me see what it is that you do in the world and how I can support you in those endeavors. These are six of my books. The one at the top left is my first book. Um, and I always tell people, your first book is your worst book because you don't know what the heck you're doing. You don't know how to design a cover. So your covers kind of look homemade. These are my books. I'm proud of them. They're homemade books. They're books made by my hands. I self-publish them. I have readers. I have an audience. And I'm proud to have readers and have an audience and have my books published on Amazon. Hello, Nanette, happy Friday. Go ahead and mute yourself. We are recording and we are live on Facebook. These are the books that you can find on Amazon, right? So I started my journey publishing strictly on Amazon, right? Because for me, free is for me. And when I started in 2016, I had zero budget, zero ad spend, zero money, zero nothing, right? And I just wanted to get my first book out the way just to see if I could do it. So that was my first book, Secrets from My Closet. Then my second book, Sorry Boo Mommy Lied, that's for my daughter who turned 18. Notice it says, now that you're 18, you can handle the truth, right? So I had a lot of truth to tell and I put it in that book. And that book actually served as a conversational piece between me and my daughter. She was my editor. I paid her $20 an hour to edit that book. And I found out later she didn't do a very good job. So thank God it was self-published, right? So I was able to go back later and republish that same book with a new cover. If you look it up today, there's actually a different cover on it. Um, and if you look it up, you know, different places, wherever you find it, there might be a blue cover, might be a green cover, because one of the things I like to do is improve daily, <laughs> like on the daily, the feedback that I get from my clients, the feedback that I get from my readers, I automatically go ahead and make my services and products better, which is what you're supposed to do. Make your products better, make your services better and improve on a daily basis, right? So that was my second book. My third book, Daily Bread for Teachers, that was 101 Ways to Bring Swag into Your Classroom. Okay, so that book actually turned into The Honeymoon because I gave copies of that book to my teacher friends, my buddy teachers, and they ripped it apart. They redlined it. They put the red pen in there. They put the highlighter. They put the sticky notes. And so what happened was that book, Daily Bread, became 185 Honeymoon Tips for Teachers, a guide to planning for the big day. Because what I did was I remixed it, I made it better, I revised it, and now it's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was before I got that feedback. 
Then I published mom's book on common sense, how to take care of yourself when you're overwhelmed. Okay, so I just turned 45, right? I wrote this book when I was like 43 or 42. And I noticed that my life started to change. My body started to change. My energy level started to change. And so, of course, I go to mom and I talk to mom and I ask mom, you know, what are some of the things that I can do to take care of myself? And so she laid it all out, you know, and I did some research and I found there's 10 basic things that you need to do specifically as a woman um, or as a parent to take care of yourself when you are overwhelmed with the responsibilities of life, right? There's things you can do. So inside that book, and you will find it on my website, there's 10 basic things that you can do to take care of yourself. Even if you're overworked and stressed and underpaid, there's still room for you to take care of yourself, right? And the book in the top right-hand corner, your first book workbook is literally what I teach inside of my courses. It's literally the information that I provide for my clients inside of the courses. It's the nitty gritty, right? It's the book template. It's website. the outline. It's all the goodies that are rolled up into my courses. I decided to go ahead and put them inside of a book and publish it on Amazon. So those are the books that I've made with my own two hands. They are available on my website and also on Amazon. And I've also created in 2020, I was able to actually create three books, not by myself. These books are collaborations that I created with other authors and speakers and teachers. Because what I have learned is that I can't do everything alone and I'm not as effective alone as I am with a group and with a team, right? So I'm going to show you a couple of books that I wrote as collaborative books with other people. So you may have seen this all over social media. I've posted and I'm very proud of it. I'm very excited about it. Um, this is my new book, which actually just came out on February 17th. Hello, Eden. Welcome, welcome. We are now live on Instagram. So if you guys know people on Instagram, let them know LT the Buddy Teacher is live and I'm doing a training that they do not want to miss. So this is visibility, success stories from elite leaders making an impact from the stage. So this is my new chapter in my life as a public speaker. So since we started 2021, I've already been on three stages virtually. And for the next 60 days, I plan on being on three more. So that'll be six stages, right? So that was my goal for 2020 is to get on the stage, be seen and be heard. And along the way, I stumbled upon a book collaboration, wrote a chapter in the book and was able to get featured with my mentor and speaking agent, Daniela Burnett. All right, this is another book collaboration that I was able to accomplish in 2020. This is a group of educators and this will be out next month. This is not available yet, but make sure you write down the date. March 15th is about the time that we'll be launching and having our party and doing all that good stuff. So this is new ways of learning in 2020, Corona struck. Oh yeah, this is a collaboration. This is Teachers. The name of the company that we created together is Teachers Word LLC. We published this as a joint venture because we believe that teachers need to hear or the world needs to hear what teachers have to say. So that's why we called our organization Teachers Word LLC because um, there's a lot going on in the education world and y'all need to hear what the teachers have got to say. We know what the politicians are saying. We know what the officials are saying. We know what the superintendent, administrators, we know what everybody's saying, but somebody needs to um, take out a pen and a pad and start writing down what these teachers are saying because the teachers are in the trenches and they know what's going on with these students. 
my favorite part of this cover is I love the fact that we got black and brown kids on the front of this book. And they are not sitting in rows. They are standing tall. They are proud. They are being their true and authentic selves. And they are having a great time, which is what we did with this book collaboration. We had a great time. All right, so again, go to my website if you want to find more information about what I have done, my books, all that kind of good stuff, myfirstbook.org. All right, so now this is the part where you start writing, okay? Because this is the part that where I'm talking about you. Notice the future for eBooks, the future is bright, y'all. It is very, very, very bright. Notice that this person is obviously working from home. They have their coffee there. They have their cell phone with their uh, earplugs. They've got their glasses. They've got a little sticky note and they're putting their hand inside of the computer and they're pulling out a book, right? Because books are not what they used to be and your office is not what it used to be. So we're gonna talk about what this means for you. All right, so if you look here, this is actually the true definition of the word ebook means electronic book that has been transcribed by someone who inputted the information into a database or into a file so that people can get it electronically, right? So in the chat, tell me what is the first book what was the first textbook? What is the best-selling book in the world? What was the original book that people used in schools? Tell me, tell me what, what was that? Let's see what we got in the chat. Boom, 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 Bible, Bible, Bible. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, look, look, look who we got in the house. I'm loving it. 100, 110% focus needed with LT worth giving. Yes, thank you so much. Christian, wife, mother, educator, media producer. Yes. Married, hubby, pop, poppy, songwriter, elder, civil servant, musician, singer, author, most of all, Christian. I'm so pumped up right now, you guys. This is exciting. Christian, educator, student, mother, daughter, grandmother, educational consultant, sister. Yes. Bible, 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 Bible. Okay, good. We got some Bible folks up in here. So yeah, the best-selling book in the world is still the Holy Bible, y'all. Over millions, I don't know how many millions copies sold, but it, it is. you can Google that and find out and let me know in the chat how many millions have sold right now. But this is the first textbook that kids used in, in the classroom when they had the little one room schoolhouses. Um, and I kind of think we're starting to go back toward that, to be honest. But um, those books were electronically put into um, e-formats. Those were the original e-books. And so when I'm talking to you, I'm actually technically teaching you how to do a digital download. And we'll talk about the difference between a digital download and an actual ebook, right? Because um, if you go through the history, um, government book talk, it says the history of ebooks from the 1930s were actually called readies to today's GPO ebook services, right? So we have evolved as a society, books have evolved, but the information in the books remains the same. All right, so what are digital downloads? Because what I'm teaching you to do in my courses is to do digital downloads, right? They're not technically ebooks because the ebook would be the actual full length paperback book, but typed into the computer. We're doing very short eBooks that are easy for you to create quickly and sell right away. So technically what I'm teaching would be digital downloads, right? And so what is that? It's downloading the process of copying data to a computer from an external source, digital distribution, a method of downloading software or audiovisual media as opposed to buying it at a traditional point of sale. Okay, now music download, a specific type of digital distribution. And you can include, if you are the producer of music, 
most people don't know this, you can absolutely put music into your ebook if you are the owner of that music, okay? So keep that in mind. Some of you guys are musically inclined. You guys are media moguls. Think, expand your thinking so that you can include multiple formats and multiple forms of entertainment into your books. All right, here's some statistics and some data, some current events, because I'm a history teacher, social science teacher, so I like to do um, all kinds of different current events and stuff. So this is relevant to what you guys need to know right now. Surprise ending for publishers in 2020. Business was good, right? With people stuck at home and so many other activities shut down, a lot of reading or at least a lot of book buying happened this year, right? So I'm gonna give you some specific numbers and tell you how many books were sold, but I want you to put in the chat, how many eBooks do you think were sold in 2020? Like how much money do you think was made specifically from eBooks in 2020? I want you to put a guess in the chat and I'm gonna share it with you in a second, but, but do a little guess, do a wild guess. All right, so this is paperbacks. This is printed, right? So we're just going to look at the printed real quick. So for the printed book, um, this is on the left-hand side, it represents sales in millions. And at the bottom, it represents the years. So 2004, $648 million of printed books. You scroll over to 2012, it drops to $591 million. Then you go over to 2020, boom, it's a whopping $750 million in printed books. Okay, so these are printed books. These are paperbacks. Now let's find out how the eBooks did. All right, Amazon's net profit source 84% with sales hitting $386 billion. eBook industry news feed, eBook sales in the United States were up 20% in October. This article comes from December 14, 2020 from the Good E-Reader. And it says digital book revenues were up 20% for the month as compared to October, 2019 for a total of 96.9 million on a year to date basis. Ebook sales were up 16% generating $953 million for the first 10 months of 2020. Ebooks accounted for 10% of all trade sales in October. So this is great news for self-published authors because that means that if you have ebooks on the market, you'll be able to share some of these profits. And that's what I teach y'all how to do. Here's more information. Google is going to convert ebooks to audiobooks. Okay, remember I was telling you guys about your music files. So I want you to ex really expand your mind, expand your thinking beyond the traditional paperback book. I want you to really start thinking about how you can cash in on this trade because this is huge. We're in a global market share. This is huge for you. Many front list and back list titles were never will never be converted to a proper audiobook. So Google has developed a beta system that will employ AI and auto-generated narrators. Hmm, what you think about that? Ebooks and audiobooks usage in schools. I'm a, I'm a teacher, a lot of teachers out there. This caught my eye. Uh, Ebooks and audiobooks usage in schools exploded in 2020. I wonder why, y'all. Kids have to be engaged. December 4th, 2020, from the Good E-Reader, 38,000 schools in 71 countries, remember I said this is global, saw an 80% increase over the last year with the usage of ebooks and audiobooks. Mm. Amazon publishing in talks to offer ebooks to public libraries, okay? So this just tells you some of the explosive growth that's happening in the world of publishing. All right, here's another article. And this is retail dive. Let's take a retail dive. Apple, oh, Apple's coming in the picture now, right? Want to get in on some of this big money. 
Apple takes a page out of Amazon's ebook market share. I want y'all to go look this up on your own. It is very interesting. Um, pay attention to these trends because when you see big companies trying to get some of that market share, that is a signal to you that there's an opportunity for you to also cash in on Amazon's book market. All right, here's a little bit from the article. It says Apple is renaming and redesigning its iBooks ebook app with a simplified storefront and other updated features in an apparent effort to give the retail ebook market it had yielded to Amazon another, another go, according to a Bloomberg report. So this means that Apple is trying to cash in on the ebook money. Money, honey, it's all about money. Ain't a damn thing funny. That's what my mom taught me when I was 12 years old. You better go make some business for yourself, girlfriend. That's when I started braiding hair, babysitting, doing whatever I needed to do to make extra money for myself. I took that literally. Go make some business for yourself, girl. All right, so the report also stated, oh, this is a little bit of drama. It's a little bit of drama in here, y'all. The report also stated that Apple has hired an executive away from Amazon, mm, stealing, to lead the renewed commitment to the updated app, which will now be called Books. The executive, Kasi Zafar, had been a senior vice president with Amazon's Audible, mm -hmm, audiobooks business. Okay. The renewed commitment to ebook sales comes almost two years after the U.S. Supreme Court ended Apple's effort to challenge a court ruling that it had conspired with book publishers to keep ebook prices elevated, a decision that resulted in a $450 million fine for Apple. Yikes. All right, and here's a little bit more data for you guys, but if you want to go on the internet and dig up this stuff, it's just interesting reading. It's inter interesting what's happening in the marketplace. I'll let you guys dig more into this on your own. The point is, it's time for y'all to cash in on this money. So I'm going to take a sip of water. I want you guys to give me a one sentence summary, what you're learning, what you have learned so far, and what you want to know next. All right, $2 billion. I think the $2 billion, okay, that was for eBooks, right? Mm -hmm. I lost your connection, but um, $5 billion. Mm, hot topics. I love it. I learned that eBooks are the way to go. Absolutely. eBooks are faster, uh, faster to create, cheaper to make, and easier to sell. I need to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Ebooks are extremely profitable right now. Right now, yes, it's time to cash in right now. Okay, so the next portion of this is going to be called Canva. Hello, Priceless Education. Thank you so much for joining us. Now is the time to get your pen and paper because I'm about to be dropping some nuggets on y'all. Literally, you can take these nuggets to the bank tonight because I'm going to teach you how to go on to Canva, open up Canva right now. And you can actually start building your ebook right now while we're on this training, okay? That's how serious this information is. And Canva right now is free 99, which is my, my favorite kind of free is free 99. Okay, so as you can see, this is Canva. This is my account. I have lots of designs. Everything you guys see on social media for me, I created it on Canva. My book covers, I created on Canva. My Instagram posts, my, my posts that I put on um, LinkedIn, Twitter, all of my accounts, it's from Canva. Now, you can actually go on here and waste a lot of time. You can get really caught up and really excited and you can go down a rabbit hole, okay? So I'm going to tell you right now, if you're using Canva as an author, there's some specific features that you want to pay attention to, and there's some things that you want to ignore, okay? Remember we talked about minimize distractions, follow one course until successful, that applies right now, okay? 
So you're gonna create your Canva account for free. You're gonna go over to the section in the top left-hand corner that says templates. The templates are gold. Like I love templates, man. There's a template for everything. Like they say, hey, there's an app for that. Hey, is there a template for that? Saves you so many hours and heartache and researching and all that kind of stuff. So you wanna go to the templates, okay? You wanna type in the search and you wanna put an ebook cover and literally there will you will get this one says 217 templates. There's hundreds, okay? So you wanna be focused and pay attention. You wanna get colors that go with your brand. If you don't have a brand or a logo, I can teach you about that in my course or in an hour coaching session, we can talk about that. Um, you can literally create your whole entire ebook using Canva, right? It is so easy like there's no excuse why you can't have an ebook like tomorrow if you open up canva tonight i want to see an ebook from you tomorrow like it's not that hard this um is one of my favorite templates that i like to use for teachers because i write books for teachers so um it grabs your eye right like what teacher doesn't want to see a paper with an a on it right so this is from Canva, it's brilliant. Like they are marketing geniuses and they're making our job so easy. So if you guys want to do an ebook, you need to get into Canva because it's got it going on. All right, checkpoint. What did you learn from that very quick, short Canva talk? What did you learn? Give me one sentence that describes what you just learned. Ebooks are very profitable. Yes. Getting tapped into the ebook frenzy. Yes. Canva is life. Canva makes ebooks e easy. Yes. Create your own ebook cover. No excuses. Free 99. I learned that you can create your ebook here. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is how I get ebooks done so fast, y'all. I can do an ebook in like three hours. <laughs> it's just that simple. Well, it's a muscle, too. Once you develop your writing muscle, then you can develop your publishing muscle then you can develop your speaking muscle, then you can do your coaching and your training and your consulting and all the other good stuff that you wanna do. You can develop these muscles one by one or all at the same time, it's up to you. All right, so now that you know you can create an ebook for free 99, now I want you to understand how the money works when you start selling books as a professional, okay? I started out as an amateur, just creating books for fun as a hobby, just to get me a little bit of Starbucks money to supplement my teacher salary, right? So it gave me enough money to go to Starbucks, gave me enough money to get my hair and nails done every now and then, okay? But then I started coaching other people on how to write books. And so then that's when I turned it into a business and started getting paid for coaching and courses, okay? So when you're first writing a book, especially an ebook, you want to start looking through the market to find out, okay, how am I going to sell this thing? Is it good enough? Is anybody going to pay for it, right? I've seen editing charges up to $1,200 on the market at the high end, okay? I've seen formatting up to $300 cover design up to 500. Now you could go to Fiverr and you could pay $5, okay? But you're gonna get a cover that looks like you paid $5. I've seen coaches charge up to 500 an hour. I've seen marketing, sales, training, up to $500, launching, book signing, website, ongoing support. I've seen all kinds of prices out there. These are some of the numbers that I have seen. And now I'm gonna show you some of the companies that offer these services. Why would I do that? I'm a book coach. I sell courses. Why would I show you guys other companies that could be considered my competitors? Well, because they offer the same type of services, but they don't do what I do. I'm a teacher. I'm a credentialed teacher. And I've been through the ringer when it comes to getting my credential. 
I have four college degrees and I have a whole lot of experience in helping people become successful. So I have no problem showing you what's on the market, showing you who's out there, what the prices are. Self-publishing school, I actually really admire because they are super organized. Their website is awesome and efficient. Their prices are really good. So do your research before you start building your books, y'all. Self-publishing school is a good place to start. They actually break down for you what they will charge you for their programs. Notice it says all programs include one-to-one -one tailored coaching, group coaching, lifetime course access live with Q&A. Chandler Bolt is the uh, founder of the self-publishing school. Um, they do children's books, which I don't do. They do fundamentals of fiction, which I don't do. Uh, become a bestseller, full-time fiction, publicity and speaking, course building for authors. I do publicity and speaking. I do course building for authors and I do nonfiction. So there's a lot of book coaches out here, you guys. So you have to be very meticulous when you're doing your research and you have to find the package and the person that works for you. All right, and these are some of the places, some of the outlets that deal with eBooks, audiobooks, paperbacks. And there's another company called Book Baby, which I also investigated when I was starting my journey. And they also offer great packages, great prices, book printing, all that good stuff. They do eBooks, they do paperbacks. Um, again, do your research, find the folks that are gonna help you, comparison shop, you know, talk about the money because it's an investment. All right. So what makes LT's coaching different? Obviously. Okay. There's some things that make me different. Um, I could teach you by showing you how well I fish, right? I could let you see the products that I've created. Like, you know, the metaphor would be the fish. Um, I could invite you over for dinner and cook you fish and let you taste the fish. But I'm not that kind of gal. I'm the kind of gal that's going to teach you how to fish so that you can feed yourself and your family for the rest of your life. That's what a teacher does. The teacher is going to give you guided instruction that's customized and you're going to get the coaching so that you know what to do and you're going to get the feedback. If you need the feedback at midnight, I'm looking in my course to see how you're doing. If you need feedback in the morning, I'm looking at the course to see how you're doing. That's what a teacher does and that's what makes me different. All right, checkpoint, tell me what you have learned so far. Put a sentence in the chat, what have you learned and what do you wanna know next? All right, let's see, what did I learn? I learned that you can create your ebook here. Does Canva do outlines? No, I haven't found any outlines. I have my own outlines that I provide in my course. I haven't seen any outlines, but they probably will be creating some in the future if there's a demand. Um, provide guidance and feedback. Absolutely, absolutely. Guidance and feedback is very important. Research and explore programs, absolutely. I have the right to choose who's best for me and my, yes, self-publishing goals. Absolutely. Everything you do has to be the right fit. All right. So how much can you charge for an ebook? I've seen ebooks that are free as lead magnets. I've seen uh, ebooks that are 99 cents, 2.99. The average, the sweet spot is 3.99. Um, most people love to pay 3.99 for ebooks, but I've seen them as high as 9.99. I have a couple of ebooks on my website that are $9.99. It's all up to you. Um, I created this little graph for you to kind of figure out how to price your ebook. You really need to think about how many um, books you can sell. Like what is your social media presence? Um, what does your email list look like? Do you have 20 people? Do you have 100 people? Do you have 500 people? Um, obviously, you know, the less amount of people, the least amount of people that you have, the more you're going to need to charge in order to make some good money to make it worth your time. 
Um, it's better to have a, a good email list. But if you don't have an email list, I can teach you and show you how to grow your email list, how to grow your social media, um, how to market and promote and sell more, right? So obviously, if you price your ebook as a, as a, at a dollar, which I've seen on Amazon, some people have ebooks for 99 cents to bring sales in, okay? But you can up your price, okay? If you're a self-published author, you don't have to ask anybody's permission to bring your price up, okay? Obviously, you sell it for a dollar, you sell it to 20 people, it's $20. It's $2, 20 people, $40, and so on. All right, I met someone on Instagram the other day. I really, really, really loved her um, content, her, her post, her educational content. She's a teacher. She has an ebook on her um, Instagram and it's called Insubordinate, right? Amazing, right? It's a teacher's guide to working in a hostile environment. That totally hit me in the heart because I know what it was like to work in a hostile environment. I bought this book immediately. It's... Um, 1997 on her, um, she has a, what's it called? A landing page connected to her Instagram. It's 1997. I totally bought it. It's totally worth it, right? Because it hit me in the heart. It's something that I've dealt with. It's something that my teacher, my buddy teachers are dealing with. So I'm going to share the, the resource with them and let them know where to go get it because I want to support this teacher. She's amazing. So I show you this because you can price your ebook at whatever you want. Your target audience is going to pay whatever you say because they're going to want it. All right. Again, go to my website and you can take a look at the products page. I have multiple ebooks. Some of them I give away for free. Um, if you haven't been to my website yet, you need to go ahead and go here and sign up to get my free ebook. It's called How to Block Out Writer's Block, because a lot of people think that writer's block is real when it's really not. Um, there's a lot going on. It's writer's block is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot going on beneath the surface, so you need to investigate that. So go to my website, www.myfirstbook.org. Uh, put your information in here so I can keep in touch with you. Um, these are some of my friends' books, my clients' books, some of the books that were inspired by my teaching. You can hear some of my clients giving you their um, feedback, giving me their feedback on the courses. So you can hear, you know, it's one thing for me to say how great I am and how cool I am and how much of an effective teacher I am, but it, you really need to investigate and find out for yourself what is LT really doing up in them classes is she teaching are people learning and then there's my email if you want to email a question to me lt the buddy teacher at gmail.com if you want to schedule an appointment for a coaching session just click right here and you can do a book power coaching session this is for current members you can do a strategy session, one hour free call, if you wanna talk about your book. And if you wanna ask me basically, is this a good book idea? Do you think this will sell? That's what this is for. Is this the right time for me to write a book? Like, yeah, but I, we'll talk about it. Um, if you wanna be on my podcast, I got a little thing there for an interest meeting. I'm looking for sponsors for my teacher summit. I'm looking for vendors. So if you wanna schedule a chat, you can do that. Okay, that's schedule up here, schedule an appointment. But definitely, if this is your first time interacting with LT, put your information in here so I can start talking to you about, you know, what your book idea and we can start brainstorming to see if it's the time and the place and if we're a fit. All right, so I'll go back to the presentation and I'm going to show you guys a quick testimonial. I'm going to actually... Let me see if I can get the volume on my computer. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Send me a message. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. Send me a message. If you guys are on Zoom, send me a message in the chat and let me know if you can hear this video because I'm just gonna play like two minutes of it. 
I'm going to turn on share my computer sound. Just quickly say yes, I can hear it, or no, I cannot hear it. Ebook. The Lord, tell everybody who you are and what you were able to accomplish today. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dolores Chalmers, and I am so excited to say that I just completed my first ebook with the help of LT, the buddy teacher. I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. Um, my book is titled Keep Calm and Keep That Body Moving. I am a firm believer that uh, exercise, healthy eating keeps you sane. Uh, it not only helps you mentally, it helps you physically as well. And I'm happy to share some of my great tips with anyone who's willing to learn and want to get through this pandemic healthy and happy because this has been quite a challenge this last year or so. So thank you guys. And um, I look forward to um, sharing some of my great ideas with you. Happy, Ooh, healthy Lord. exercising. You got everything going on. Now, what, what is this website that you have here? Okay, my website is um, what you see there. And you guys will actually have to go visit her website because I'm not going to show you the whole video, but that's just an example of what I've been able to do with my clients. This is Dolores's website. I taught her how to create it, how to upload her book, how to get the shopping cart functioning. And basically get, get her book sold. These are the first three books that she sold. Awesome. This is Jessica. She also created an ebook in my course. The name of her ebook is Burnout Detox. Check it out. It's on her website. I'm going to skip this checkpoint because we are out of time. I want to talk to you guys really quickly about my one day ebook intensive training. This is for the person who really, really needs accountability, who needs guided instruction, customized lessons, and easy modules to follow, right? So I'm offering um, a one-day intensive, and it's all about creating an ebook. You walk in with an idea. You might have a little bit scratched on a paper, a little bit of chicken scratch, and we're going to go through that chicken scratch, and five hours later, you're going to have an ebook, which you can sell. And if you need to do a website, I will help you do that. That's for an additional charge. But basically what I want you to be able to do is create an ebook quickly, get it up on your website and sell it and start making passive income, y'all. I don't want you to be walking around here talking about, I only have one source of income. There's no excuse. There's no reason for that. You guys can be taking your ideas and throwing them out there and getting the, these books sold, getting feedback improving your books like self-publishing right now is exploding it's amazing and people are making money that's my point all right again if you go here you will see a tab for products and this is where I am offering all of my products including the one day intensive all right, the one day intensive is going to be Saturday, March 13th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So mark this on your calendar because if you need accountability and you want to produce something amazing quickly, you want to start making passive income, you need to be there. What are we doing? All right, so I have an ebook writing module inside of my courses. You'll get access to that. I also have an ebook cover design module. You'll get access to that inside of the course. You will also get a website design module, video tutorials on how I set up my quick website with a shopping cart because again, the purpose is to make sales. It's not to have a beautiful website with all these pretty things. It's, it's to make some money. All right, what else is in there, LT? Full formatting, I help you with that. You saw how easy it is in Canva. Full editing, you guys know how much you, you can pay for editing, it's a lot. Cover design, easy. Five hours of live instruction from me, that's called coaching. All right, total value, you could pay a tuition at a university for this kind of course. Matter of fact, I don't even know which universities are offering this, but 
they really need to get on the bus and start offering this because this is a skill set. So total value is 10,000, discounted price is 5,000, but your tuition, because you're on here tonight, your tuition is $3,500. Now, why did I put fair market value? Because if you look at the numbers that I gave you before and you look out there and see what's happening in the world, this is about how much people are paying for this training. But you're here, you're in my circle. I love you. I want you to do this right away. So your fast action bonus is $1,500 if you sign up tonight. Here's Jeannie. Jeannie is in my course right now. This is a short video I'm gonna show you about what she's been able to do. She just came into the course on February 1st and she's halfway done, y'all. Beautiful Jean Reese. We are working on her wonderful ebook. And we have an outline, we have a thesis with an introduction, we have body, we have a conclusion. We're working on the title, and we're going to be doing a table of contents pretty soon. But right now we have some ideas, and Miss Jean is going to share her ideas for her ebook, going to tell you her title and the inspiration behind this ebook. Say hello to the people, Miss Jean. Hello. <laughs> How is everyone? <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, my. So, what was your inspiration behind this title? What's your title? Well, my title is You'll Be on Zero. There is a second line to that because we are still in the formation and I am trying to find out. I would love to see myself, but right now I can't see myself, so it's kind of hard for me. Yeah, click, click, stop, share. Oh, that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Day eight because you started on the second. What? Wait, let started me back the up then. <laughs> it's only day let eight. Me let me slow down. Why am I on 10? <laughs> let me cool it a little bit. So you're probably about, I looked, I checked in the course. I think you're 35% through okay. each lesson. Okay. So you're doing, you're right on track. Okay. You're probably a little bit ahead of schedule, but that's fine because you're just flowing. Yeah. The rest of the time can be for editing. <laughs> that's edit. Go back. We know that's coming. <laughs> I'm, into, I'm into grammar. And, and uh, I thought I have some readers already have them. They, they are committed to read. And I thought, well, you're going to read but two pages anyway. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> it's, after all this time, come up with two good pages. But they were saying, oh, it's my honor. It's an honor? Okay. That's okay. What would you recommend for them? Nike says what? Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just jump right on in. And, and you know how much time you have, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone is, you know, has a life. So you need to say, in reality, can I do this for five months? Can I do it for six months? Can I do it in, you know, is it going to take me a year? But anyway, get started on some level of uh, commitment. And that's what it, all it takes is commitment. And if you don't commit, um, you're admitting that you're not doing the right thing. Because in your heart of hearts, you know that that is what you wanted to do. 
and you're not allowing yourself. So get your good coach. And LT is a great coach. There you heard it. You heard it from Miss L. Jean Reese. <laughs> My nickname for Jean is Mean Green Money Making Machine with her <laughs> <deep voice. laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, and and I I'm just uh like I said, I'm thankful that it even though you you look and say, well, what does she have to write about? I mean, the thing is everyone has a journey. And some of the little details that come out will help somebody else. It's not really about us anyway, right? Amen. So this is what we're on the planet to do, is to help someone else. And you could very well be the answer to someone's big situation, issue, problem, if you will. So let's get her done. That's the best thing I can say. All right. Thank you so much for your time. You said, let's get her done. Let's get her done, y'all. What y'all waiting on? Here's another one of my beautiful, wonderful clients. He got his book done in a few months. He's actually working on his fourth book, I think. This thing is addicting, y'all. Once you get your first book done, I told you, your first book is your worst book, okay? Your first book is your worst book because you don't know what you're doing. The second time around, it's like raising kids. You get a little bit better, you get a little bit better, you get a little bit better. It's a muscle, okay? Here's another one of my beautiful clients. Here's another one. And the list goes on and on and on, okay? So go to the website. If you just now got to know me, put your information in here so we can talk a little bit more. Go up here, schedule an appointment, okay? If you're a current member, you already in my community, you use this one. If you're brand new, strategy session, you need to go ahead and book it, get on my calendar now, okay? Right now, don't be waiting. Nike says, just do it, okay? If you're interested in the one-day intensive, it's $1,500 for the next 72 hours. I'll give you guys a little bit of wiggle room to think about it, okay? 72 hours, and then you need to go here and you need to click on this logo, okay? Or you could schedule an appointment with me if you wanna talk about it before you purchase. Some of y'all already know you need to get on, on the bus and you need to go on ahead and purchase before um, the cost goes up, okay? I think that is my time. Let me check my time. I think it's six o'clock already. Oh, it's 6.08, I'm beyond. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you for joining me. Have a great evening. Boom, LT's out the building.